He's a good man, Savannah. A good man. Well, mama, why don't you fucking marry him then? y'all my family you know that's just who y'all are to me hi oh for all my new subbies thank you welcome how are you guys welcome to the pretty girl j channel if this is your first time watching mwah. my name is carla i am a beauty lifestyle and content reviewer so if that's something that you want to continuously see from me week after week then keep your subscription Stay locked in, hit that like button towards the end of the video, and at the end of the day, just leave your little comments or whatever you think about me, good or bad, positive or negative, I'll still respond with love. All right, so let's get into it. This is Married at First Sight, Season 11, Episode 12. Y'all ready? Let's go. Y'all, we start off with, y'all know, my, one of my favorite couples. <laughs> oh, and by the way, Drop down in the comment section and let me know who said that intro. Because you's a good man, Savannah. He's a good man. Who said that? From what movie? And if you know it, just drop it down in the comment section. All right? Here we go. So we're talking about, um, I got my notes. We're talking about Woody and Amani. Now, y'all know this is like one of my favorite couples. Because Woody, he's just, Woody is gold. Woody and Miles, they are goals, honey. For black love, they are goals. Now, Woody was in there. Y'all, Woody always making Imani breakfast. I'm convinced Imani, uh, Imani don't cook. Or she don't know how to cook. What y'all think? Because I'm, he always making her some type of breakfast and mimosas. But he's really good at it because it looks good, y'all. So... Um, during breakfast, he bring you know, he has flowers for her, which is so pretty and nice. And um, Amani thinks that they should discuss budgeting and, you know, where their finances lay as far as how much to spend on things. And it's very apparent that um, Woody don't have a damn budget. Woody don't have a budget at all. Woody said, and <laughs> I was like, Woody, what are you... What I mean, you need that amount, that amount of clothes. Woody says he needs between five hundred and a thousand dollars allotted for clothing every month. Bruh, every month? What you? Every month? Okay, Woody. Maybe two fifty a month. I mean. An outfit or two a month, but five hundred dollars, and then he gonna say, "No, I could see if it's five hundred dollars, ain't enough for some shoes." You better wear what's in your damn closet. Okay, and next we have Brett and Olivia. Okay, y'all know I think he is a damn jerk. I think he is an asshole, and sometimes I just want to slap the piss out of him, but. Even in this instance, I still wanted to because he's a smart ass. And see, with smart ass people, I can get right with you. But she asked, I, the day before, she says, you know what, well, we had a conflict. Basically, if you guys watched the previous episode, Brett told her that she was insecure, you know. And I'm like, that wasn't even called for. But that's what he did. And... Um, she was like, well, do you think that we should talk to Pastor Cal about our conflict and, you know, get maybe a little help? He was like, well, since you're still harping on it and since you're, you still have an issue with it, I guess. What the hell you mean, I guess? You told this woman that she was insecure because she was reflecting on the marriage and asking if this is something you still want to do. See, that's why he's an asshole. That's, that's why week after week after week, we've been here and I've been calling you a punk ass asshole. So the problem, Brett, stankin' ass, is that Olivia feels like she's getting two different people. 
And they showed us footage of Brett and Olivia on the couch. And I'll be damned. I'll be damned if he was a different person off camera. <laughs> he was all affectionate and I need a couple kisses. And, and she said, the person I get off camera, I like. He's nice. He's a gentleman. He's, But this asshole on camera, you keep his monkey ass because hell no. So basically, Cal, um, Dr. Pastor, I'm sorry, Pastor Cal intervenes and basically asks a lot of questions to try to dig deep. And the reality is that they have to grow into trusting each other. And because of her being hurt um, and disappointed, sometimes that's hard to do because she doesn't know who she's getting. And I can see that because each week, Brett takes asshole to a new level every single time so i don't know i i see that too i i see that too olivia i told y'all a million and bennett was gonna smash didn't i they got them draws dog the amelia and bennett are falling in love it's you know roses and butterflies and shit around their household and i love it i think well, we knew it because they're both quirky. They both <laughs> they both have very wild, imaginative personalities. Even their wedding was uh, a little bit off the chain um, with birds and shit. And but anyway, um, so they're falling in love. And y'all, Molly was it Molly? Molly was who? Uh, yeah, Molly was who Bennett had uh food or the lunch with or whatever the terror the the what was she the tarot card reader she said i can read that you guys are made for each other i bet you could girl but you also asked the waiter for some some food for your damn stuffed animal or whatever was sitting there and i was like where did who brings did she bring that to the restaurant yes she, yeah she did but we have no issues with Bennett and Olivia. Oh, I'm sorry, not no, Olivia, or Amelia. Damn, all these A's. Um, <laughs> we have no issues with them. They both are falling in love with each other. I wouldn't say in love. I'm going to say they have fallen for each other. They love each other. They want nothing but the best for each other. And I was like, oh, that's cute. Oh, that's sweet. But we knew that already, right? So. Let's go on to the next couple. I can't even call her a bobblehead ass Karen this episode because Karen is coming around. I got I, I can't call her bobblehead ass Karen. I cannot. Damn, I want to. But Karen and Miles are making a turnaround. And I love it. I love it. I love y'all know I love Miles. I think Miles is a wonderful guy. I think Miles is taking marriage seriously. I think because he hasn't had that example in his household, which he has shared to her more than a number of times, he is taking this very seriously. And I enjoy watching him. Karen, I just started enjoying her today because I see that she's changing. She's trying. Even the little, you know, kisses and affection, I see her. I do. Now, I like the game that they played, um, you know, two truths and a lie. I think that was cool. It was a great way for them to interact and, and learn something new about each other. Um, so I thought that was really cool uh, with them. Um, and because y'all know Karen lost. So because Karen lost, Miles said that she had to get a tattoo. And um, I guess that's something she been, has been talking about she wanted anyway. So he was like, yeah, we're going to go get tattoos and all that. Since you lost, you, you're going to get one. And I was like, okay, that was cool. And she's even said in her confessionals that she has really been enjoying not having that checklist to check off. And not having to, you know, decide when she's going to give him the WAP. You know, she just is free going. It's no pressure anymore. So she's able to kind of open up. So. I think that's kind of cool. Christina. 
you in danger, girl. Because Henry about to leave your ass. Oh, Henry and Christina. The couple that I just know for sure. They ain't gonna make it. They ain't gonna make it in this shit. They ain't gonna make it. They too, they're too, like, she wants the Mandingo throw you over. I, I'll just take it from you. And Henry is very melancholy, just, he don't give a shit but about nothing but his drink. I mean, but anyway, Henry meets with his friend, his his good friend, who I don't care what y'all say. That woman won't Henry. I don't care. I said it. Y'all, let me know in the comment section from from watching the episode. If you watch it, if you don't watch it, you just watch me. That's cool too. But just in your judgment, that woman is giving off. I can give you what she can't give you vibes. Okay, but I will. I'm gonna be honest. Christina's a bitch. Yeah, she is. Yep. And it's not because of medication. It's because she just she just is. You know what? I wonder what a relationship with Christina and Brett will look like. Bunch of shit talking and passion, I bet. I'm just saying. But anyway, um, he, the friend says, I don't care for her. I didn't care for how she spoke to production. And we didn't see that. That um, when they showed the, the guests um, at the house during the dinner party, what was that? Like episode, like was that four, five, something like that? What we didn't see was that production asked them to have a more in-depth conversation. And she was like, it's not going to happen. Like, do you know how hard it is to have a conversation with him? I'm like, bitch, that's who you married, not me. Just saying. If it's hard, if it's too hard to have a conversation with him, your ass should have been like, boop. My two, you know, interesting couples. Amil not, not Amelia, I'm sorry. Amani. Damn with all these A's. Oh, anyway. Woody and Amani meet for a double date with Karen and Miles. And I thought that was so cool. I thought it was, it felt like old friends, you know, hooking up to laugh. And y'all know that damn subject about the dogs came back up. <laughs> and um, Woody was like, I said, we can have a dog when we buy a house. And... Uh, because, and the reason why he said that basically is because, um, Miles and Karen are deciding that they want to adopt, you know, to see if it's something they want to do or take care of. And, um, if not, they can always return it, but they kind of want to be like adoptive parents to, um, dogs, so... I thought that was kind of cool. And it looked like they had a really good time. They were both, you know, both couples were laughing. And it was really easy going. You can you can always tell that Woody and Amani are very much more comfortable in their marriage. And open than Karen and Miles. But I don't know. I, I think they can get there. I don't. I don't. Karen just still. She's just, you know what? She's just, uh, I don't know if it's me. Y'all, you, I could be wrong. But Karen is like toting the line, the marriage line. It's almost like she, in the back of her head, she was like, what the hell am I doing? What the hell am I doing? But then uh, uh, at the same time, she's like, but Miles is such a good person. I don't want to hurt him, but I don't really want to do this. And that's what I'm getting from her is that she really doesn't want to do marriage now maybe dating miles i can't say she would be like no nah, i'm not dating miles i'm gonna say maybe marriage she probably can do without because she is just not as vulnerable as i would like for her to be and i mean it's been a month boo like seriously but we i just don't like that girl Dina. I would like to know how long are you off from work? Because everybody has went back to work, Christina, and they have not shown you 
discussing your work, talking about God, you got laid off, fired, anything from your work. And I believe she's a flight attendant. So I'm just, I'm confused, Christina. Christina, I need for you to go sit your ass down. I need for you to stay on your meds daily, okay? Um, Christina, you sat down with your friend and you basically already know the 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 answers to the questions you were asking. You want your husband Henry to make moves. Shit ain't gonna happen. You know Henry is not gonna make moves. You know Henry is not a person who is strong and confident and can just walk through the door, tearing down walls and beating the, you know, beating it up. That's not him. That's not who they paired you with, Heffa. And I, I want you to stop trying to make him into that. He's not that. Henry, Christina is emotionally um unstable. She is. Her friend called her out. She's unstable. She's a damn liability is what he called her. She is. He recognizes that. And he said, uh, Henry recognizes that you are a liability. You're high. A high liability. And I'm like, yep. Hell yeah. High like a Ferrari on insurance. Yes. Full coverage insurance. Yes. You are. Oh my God. Yes. You're unstable because you, you want that. It's like you want that Bobby and Whitney. And, and and he not. He like Angela Bassett and Courtney. Like he real cool and chill with his. He don't need the line. Like, he don't need the spotlight. He just want a good woman that he can kind of bounce ideas off of while drinking. Because his ass still drinking this episode. I ain't mad at you though. Because shit, look who you married to. So we at gift giving time. Here we go. One month in, this is what the couples got. Y'all ready? Here we go. So, <clears throat> Karen and Miles. Karen didn't, he, she didn't give Miles a gift. But Miles gave a very heart felt beautiful card. Like, it was just beautiful. It was. And he also got her a, a little a t-shirt with all the TV, um, great TV couples that we know of. Like, you know, Olivia and Sinclair, Martin and Gina. And I thought that was so cool because he was basically saying, you know, I honor my marriage. You know, we're, you know, yes, we met, you know, on this TV show, but we, you know, we could be like the Huxtables. You know, we could be our version. And I thought that was so cute and I said yeah that took that that was some thought that was a thoughtful gift that was that was a really thoughtful good gift so Amelia and Bennett Amelia writes Bennett a song yes mm -hmm. and Bennett got her ninja blender yes sweaty yeah and she was like oh my god it has multiple speeds What's a jaw harp? Does anybody know? Put down in the... I, I don't know what that was. I was like, what the hell is a jaw harp? I'm confused. I don't know what a jaw harp is. But that's another gift that <laughs> Benny got Amelia. Okay? Um, Brett and Olivia. They um, sat down and watched their wedding video. And... Um, it was it was nice it was funny and it broke up the seriousness of what they've been going through so i thought that was cool and last but not least uh henry and christina looked at their wedding pictures but um christina of course messes shit up as usual by asking uh henry about the status of their relationship and you really shouldn't because you basically was passive aggressive and told him that you don't like unconfident men. So, I don't know what the hell you thought you was going to get. So, Henry was like, this bitch. Like, Henry was like, it's unstable. He literally was like, it's unstable. Like, we, we're all over the place. I don't know. I don't know if this shit going to work. I wanted him to say... You're just too damn much. And 
I don't think this shit gonna work. I mean, he was drinking. He could have said, I mean, liquor courage. What y'all thought? Okay, guys. So, y'all hang in there with me. Next week, we'll be back. I think next week, we'll probably get into some more bobblehead and, you know, Miles. It looks like there's gonna be a little conflict there. But, um, for those of you have who haven't liked this video yet, y'all should go ahead and like it. Because every week, I'm with you guys. I am consistent, honey. <laughs> I pride myself on that. <laughs> I am consistent. And, of course, I love y'all. I love the show. I love watching it with y'all. I love commenting with you guys. And if you're a new subby, type in the comment section, new subby, or hey, family. You know what? I like that better. Type in the comment. This week, if you're a new subby, you put in your comment, in the comment section, hey, hey, family, and I'll know, and I'll, you know, give you a warm welcome, okay? If you have been watching me for the last couple weeks, or you watch me in my Tamar videos, you need to subscribe to me because, girl, I've been doing this every week, same night, every week. And we, we have a good conversation Check out them comment sections. We have some good conversations on these people. We do. We we keep it thorough and honest around here. No, we don't like everything we say or each other says. But guess what? It's honest. So. And that's what family is. Honest. So. I'm your girl, Carla. Thank you for watching. I love y'all. Thank you for supporting me. We're getting up there, y'all. We, 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 you know. We growing and that's all that I want and that's all that I want to do is give you guys great amazing content that I can be proud of and you can be proud of to watch. Okay, so until next week. Oh, and tomorrow y'all know Tamar, um, which I believe Tamar got a couple more. She only got like two more episodes. I think she only did six episodes. I could be wrong, but I think we got two more episodes of Tamar and it's a a a like enough things going on with me that I am about to share with you guys in the up and coming weeks that I am doing and so I will have to you know I'm I probably gonna have to switch some things up and around but that doesn't mean that I'm leaving you guys I just want to let you guys in and let you know what I'm doing and what's going on in my life and um until tomorrow because I'll be you know, watching Tamar, of course. Or for some of you who don't watch Tamar, until next week. You know, I love y'all. See you guys later. And don't forget to subscribe. Bye.